Hey, I'm Tom Sinclair with Streaming Idiots. Got a quick, to, well, I think it's going to be quick. Anyway, we'll see. A quick tutorial on how to set up a MIDI controller to control the T-Bar in vMix. Really pretty simple. Oh, let me get my cup out of the way. Uh, this is a Korg Nano Control. It's the original version. I think version 2 is out now. Um, and we are going to set up uh, this fader control to control the T-Bar in vMix. And so in order to do that, uh, let's see, let's, let's move in with this shot. And we're going to adjust that top left shot here in just a second. And I'm going to go to Shortcuts and go to Edit and go to Add. And I'm going to identify this particular control by clicking the Find button. So I'm going to say Find and it's going to find the controller. And notice how the velocity increases from 0 to 127. For this, for the purpose of the T-bar, we want to set the control at about 63 or 64, about midway right there. And so we'll say OK. And then the function, we have to tell it that we want to set this the T-bar. The and in vMix, this is called the fader, at least in the vMix API shortcuts. So we're going to look down here for say, set fader. There we go, set fader. And that's literally all we have to do. Um, so we're going to click OK, and then OK again. And now, when we operate this button, we'll have to, uh, well, let's turn it back to zero, and then we'll go all the way up, and it will fade to our shot all the way up again. So really, up and down is just like, you know, one up on the T-bar. It doesn't reset itself. So we just control it like that. Couldn't be any easier. You want to see it again? All right, let's do it again, just to make sure you got it. We'll go to Shortcuts. We'll go to Edit. And we'll just take this one out of here. We'll remove it. Yep. And then we'll go to Add. We'll go to Find, because we want to find a button on the controller. And we found this button. We're going to set it for 64. There we go. And click OK. And then under Function, we'll use the All tab. And we'll scroll down to Set Fader. Now, if you're using a different MIDI device, it should work the same way. As long as it's got a, a, a slider, a fader on it, you should be able to do the same thing. And you can use faders like this with the, uh, the audio controls on vMix. You can also use the knobs for... Sorry about that. We, you can use the, the, the knobs up here in the same manner. Set them from 0 to 127, so they'll work for volume as well and then the little buttons. But you can use any, you could use a keyboard, I mean a, a, a musical keyboard if you wanted to. So that's how you control the T-Bar in vMix using the MIDI controller. Pretty easy. I'm Tom Sinclair, Streaming Idiots. Tune into our show Wednesdays at 3 o'clock Eastern, 8 o'clock London, and I think about 5 a.m. on Thursdays in Australia www.easternshorebroadcasting.com. See you there.